Hi guys, welcome to the Micrograss. Hope you guys are doing great. Well, the today's topic would be this seems interesting stagnant water. Microbes are present everywhere. It's present in air, it's present in soil, it's present in plants, it's present in animals. But there is another body where the microbes are mostly present and that's nothing but water. Now water on earth are of two types, the fresh water and the salt water. Salt water would be your seas, oceans, etc. But the fresh water would be of two types again, the flowing and the stagnant. Streams, rivers would come under the flowing water. But now, the stagnant water are also of two types, the natural stagnant water and the artificial ones. Now the natural stagnant water, that is this, is nothing but spawned in puddles, form of puddles. But the artificial stagnant water, like this, is a man-made one. Now, the artificial stagnant water are considered to be hazardous. Because they are present in the form of the tires, in the tins, in the coconut shells, and many more things. Now this has a smaller ecosystem present within it. It consists of bacteria, it consists of algae, it consists of protozoans, and other eukaryotic larger organisms. We are going to collect the water sample, 1 ml of it, put it onto the slide and view it under a compound microscope and there we can have the glimpse of the micro world. So guys I welcome you to the micro world. We have found our water stagnated area on the terrace and you can see that here right here. You find the stagnated water with the microbial life in it. Got some other uh, insects got some dried leaves, dead matter. This has been stored here for days now. So probably we'll collect the water sample from this. I'm going to collect this water sample now. And let's view this water under my microscope. We're going to take a, a drop of it and we're going to put it onto the slide. Just a little amount of water. I'm going to put it onto the slide. Now we are going to keep a cover glass onto this. And now let's mount this under the microscope. So in a microscopic view, we are from protozoans. Proto, that is first. Zoans, that is animals. So the first animals. Now the protozoans are of two types. Free living. The examples would be euglena, paranesium, amoeba and many more. And other parasitic protozoans like plasmodium which causes malaria, trypanosoma which causes African sleeping sickness and entamoeba histolytica which causes amoebiasis. But there is another microscopic insect larvae found in the stagnant water. Any guesses? You guessed it right guys. Mosquito larvae. Disgusting, isn't it? Yes. So the mosquitoes, they have their two stages in the water, that is the eggs and the larval stage. They breed on the blue-green algae and the bacteria. They spread diseases like malaria, dengue, chikungunya, zika fever, and many more. These diseases sound scary. That's the reason why our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has initiated the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan to focus on the sanitation measures and to arrest these kinds of diseases. How can we prevent the mosquito breeding? First, you need to inspect the stagnant water around your house. Second, if you find so, you need to dump out all the waters. Third, if you couldn't do that, we need to add some disinfectants onto the water. 
This avoids the breeding and the further developments of the mosquito larvae. The fourth would be the greatest part. You can have some net mosquito nets at in and around your houses, which can directly prevent the mosquitoes entering in your houses. According to WHO, more than 1 million deaths are caused due to the diseases transmitted by the mosquito bites. Hope you guys have liked our video. Please do share, subscribe and comment. And also do follow us on our Facebook page, Micrograsp. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy guys. Bye.